and the funny thing is what i haven't told you is before she passed they picked me up from school mm. to go see her to say bye okay. i think it was to say bye so me i was excited that i'm going out of school for like a day or two yes then so i would go to see her but that's the time i was that's the time now when I knew it was it, not the time from the airport. Mm. That time she was still okay, but sick. So this time when they took me to the hospital and I saw her, she couldn't remember me. I said, and that, that broke me because she was like, she looked at me and then she called me Liz. Liz is the, the sister, the one who picked me up. Um, so she's like, no, then they tell her, no, 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 this is Cleo, this is your daughter. And I'm thinking, my mom can't, remember. like what? Yeah. Like for me, I'm thinking, why, why can't she remember me? And when you're a kid, you just think, you, you don't, I don't know, you don't kind of understand mm. everything. So I was just like mad that she couldn't remember me, yeah. but I got broken. So I just had to sit there and look at her. And then she, you see realization in her eyes of, oh, it's, it's you. I, I don't think it's a surprise that I'm an actress because... I, I, I noticed things that some people might not notice and she knew I loved acting I loved everything to do with TV and film because you'd watch the movies you know the one of Jesus the ones that they used to play for us yes Jesus. yes 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 mm -hmm. they were so real and that time for me I'm a kid and I'm thinking Jesus don't do it don't, don't go there they're going to kill you then I'm thinking it can change in the movie. Mm. And then I got to realize it's acted. I'm like, how do they make these things so believable? So that you are now, completely you're invested. You're completely invested and you're completely... So I was drawn to it from an early stage. Mm. Now looking at my mom that day, she looked at me and I saw it in her eyes that she realized it's me. And then she said, Cleo. Mm. And then she touched my face. It's something that I also do to people. Like I pinch people i touch somebody fondly the people that i really care about i do that that she mm, did that she, did. that she used to do it to me so and i was happy that she remembered me mm. but yeah so she died and it was so hard because i felt so alone and you're wondering what's going to happen who's going to take me in and you went back to you, school. you're from this family where everyone you know your mom was giving you everything and now you kind of have to tone it down I actually used to put myself last, <laughs> like until I remember this one time I wanted new clothes <laughs> and I told my uncle, you know, um, you can give me money <laughs> and I go to Owino market. <laughs> he was like, what, what do you mean go to Owino market? You can go to the shops because <laughs> in my head. I was thinking, you're I don't, thinking, okay, you already have a lot of responsibilities. Yeah, like I, I don't think I need to put more pressure on him mm. to get clothes from the shops or whatever. Yeah. And he gave me money that time. And my aunt went with me and we got some stuff for school, like clothes, some nice stuff. That's when, you know, because you're not sure. It's a whole new thing. Exactly. So you don't know my where you mom, fit. You don't know what you can My ask mom for. dying was life changing. Yeah. And it gave me a new perspective on life. Mm. And I worked so hard. I was the 19th in a class of, I don't know, 100 and what that year. Mm. That S3. 19th. Yeah, I, was, I liked books. But I was in a bookworm. Yeah. I was always having a novel in class. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I was always having a novel under the, I don't know how under many, the desk. Yes. I don't know how many novels the teacher would take from me. I did that. I did that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like. They, and they would ask you a question, but you know, somehow you're listening. I don't know how it was. Like, I would listen and then ask me a question and I answer it. Mm. Again, and then it's like, so what do you have under the desk? I'm like, oh my God. Mm. So, but yeah, it changed me. And I, I, I was like, I have to read so hard. I have to prove to my guardians that they can keep me. Mm. That I can, that I, I, am, I can read. I'm serious. I am, you know, I'm a grade A student. <sighs> You know, it affects people differently. Some people just give up and become, act out in other ways. I shut out. Like, I was in, like, I don't even remember how that S3 went. I, but I think I became a prefect the same year. Like, a library prefect. Because I loved the library. But I, I just remember going, like, you know, I was still determined to, to do the best in school, in my class. Do you feel class. like maybe that was your way of trying to, 
take control or have control over something. I have a feeling maybe it was a way of, of, of me trying to forget the pain I'm going through. Because I was, you know when you're sick, like I was sick and they took me uh, for checkups. My uncle took me for checkups. They checked everything, nothing was wrong with me until the doctor said she's just stressed. That was the first time I heard of Ginzomin. Ginzomin is like some medicine that's for, I don't know, stress, whatever. No, no, no. I'm in S3. I'm like, I don't know, how old was I? 18? Yeah? No, S3 right. is uh, 15? Yeah, 14, 15. 14, yeah, 15. I'd met 15 because January, I start the year. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd met 15. But uh, I'm taking Ginzomin to relieve stress. Because you probably weren't even dealing with it. No, I don't think I was. And that's the time I started writing more. But all my poetry was morbid. Mm. It was dark. Yeah, it was all dark. If I die. That was one of the poems I wrote. If I die, before I, if, before I say I'm sorry. I, it, was like, it was a whole poem of if I die before I see my children. If I die before. Then I had another one. Like Everything was just, uh, the other one was called, um, what was it? me but me when you read that poem it's about a corpse